from 2RC Productions and we're gonna do a little unboxing today and I have an in-studio guest here Grace is in here with joining me hi Grace hi all right what do you got Grace Domino Kodo HD ready to fly camera jump wow it's a Dramada Kodo HD ready to fly camera drone and Dramada has had a couple of these. They have a two. They have the original one, the Kodo. And I personally have not owned a Dramada at all. I have not owned a Dramada car, Dramada quadcopter, anything. So this is a new Dramada product. And I actually found out about this through Tim Gluth. RC Noob had put a post up that they were releasing this. And what makes it a little more unique than the older one is... It shoots in full HD, which is cool. The other ones were like 720 or whatever. This this should be 1080. Flies up to 20% longer, so I'm assuming it's got a larger battery in it. It says virtually indestructible. It is a new release. It's just come out. The styling looks cool. I'll just kind of go over the box with you and read it. Uh, it says advanced 2.4 gigahertz radio for precise, reliable control. Flip button for pro flips whenever you want. Fully adjustable camera. Shoots full high definition videos and still photos. All batteries included. Tough construction makes the Koto HD durable. Ready to fly. Nothing to buy. Gyro stabilization makes every flight smooth and level. And on the back of the box, it new and improved all in one fun. Uh, new tiltable HD camera, which is cool. It's 25% lighter for more performance and up to 20% more flying time. So maybe it's just that it's lighter i don't know if it has a bigger battery or not uh sleek new body design for better looks and sleeker aerodynamics auto flip button includes the assembled koto hd full hd digital 1080p video and still camera card reader and four gigabyte memory card uh q106 four channel 2.4 gigahertz radio system lipo battery and usb charger AAA batteries included installed blade guards and extra blades so i have not bought a quadcopter in some time uh the last quad i bought was the sky viper nano drone which i sent out to sean b my boy sean b he he won that in the giveaway and before that was probably my blade nano qx was probably my last quad about two years ago so we do a lot of cars and trucks and stuff but and i do have some quads and some little helicopters but we have not bought one in a while so this is a new release. I wanted to pick it up. I was uh, happened to stop in a hobby shop. We went out to eat and happened to stop in one that was close to where we were eating. Just rolled in there. I saw it on the shelf. $59.99 I think is an extremely uh, good price for a quad this size and what the options are. So we're going to get to the unboxing. Enough yapping here. Get this baby open and see what's in there. Okay, right off, uh, right off the bat I see a nice instruction manual. Uh, which looks like it's laid out very well has everything explained it's Got pictures. I don't know if this opens or if it's just the one page or what. Oh, yeah, it opens Okay, so it gives you all your How to correct drift how to fly Flips blade guard replacement it just kind of goes through everything. I'll right, give that to grace take that grace uh, I can see the box here. It's neatly packed in here now Dramada is like I believe it's like a division of Ravel which is Great Plains which is uh, uh, what brand is, I'm trying to think here I'm drawing a blank here the Helimax Helimax sorry guys so it's basically like a spin-off brand of, of a Helimax quad now um, I have mostly blades so the only one that I had before was I had the one okay. 1S, or not 1SQ, 1S, uh, 1SI. I had the 1SI, and that was given away on a giveaway, so I don't have that anymore. And this will be the first one and the first Dramata product, so we'll see. I'm a big fan of Blade. These batteries just don't want to come out of here. Let me tip the box. Extra parts under tray, it says. Oh, they got their blades under there. So you see it's got this little insert and you got the 2.4 gigahertz radio uh it's upside down which feels feels pretty good in the hand i mean it's kind of like the proto x proto x controller 
it's nice and small uh good for you know taking taking somewhere with you, you don't have a big bulky controller some people have a hard time because they're small it feels fine in the hand for me extra blades the card reader that goes in a usb port on your computer you got the usb charger that you plug the lipo in there this looks just like the holly max setup exactly like the holly max setup uh it's got the little connector actually the connection on here is looks like the same connector that they use on the lozy vehicles too it is it's the same connector so that plugs right into there and then you plug that uh, take your battery out and plug it right into there plug it in the usb or you can use a power cord plug adapter for like a phone charger and plug it in that's what i usually do and then they have the little micro sd card it's a small card i have some more that i use for my gopro which would work in this too and I'm very anxious to see how this thing looks, the camera footage itself, how it looks. It is a really cool looking style. The body looks really neat. Uh, okay, yeah, the camera flips down, flips up. It's got a lot of angle on it, really. A lot of angle. I don't know if you can see that if I'm getting that in there, but it's got quite a bit of angle, which is good because then you could shoot straight out ahead of you, you know, 45 degree angle, or you could shoot almost straight down. Uh, first first glance black and silver colors yellow and black blades Kodo HD it says on there it looks different than the other Kodo for sure um, very cool looking design so just wanted to give you guys an unboxing of this thing so you can see what it looks like we will follow up with some uh, run videos and flights if you guys want to see it run I'll have to charge it up go through the motions here see if I can get it fine-tuned I'm expecting big things out of this Dromeda. I'm expecting this thing to fly really, really nice. I've heard a lot of good things about the Dromeda Kodo, the original one. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I'm hoping this uh, is uh, not a disappointment. But you know me, I will give you the straight truth on it. If I think it's a good product or I think it's a pile of junk, I'll tell you. And I'll be uh, blatantly honest with you. So, All right, Grace, thanks for helping out. You're bye. welcome. Say bye. Bye, guys. All right, Rich from 2RC Production signing off here. We're with Dakota HD from Dramada. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Please don't forget to rate, subscribe, comment in no particular order. Thumbs up. Grace is saying thumbs up, thumbs up the video. Right, Grace? Thumbs up. All right. All right, YouTubers. Little update here on the Dramada Kodo HD, the new quad, the new quad that I picked up. So, this is the second part of the video because I'm going to do a little update in one. I was going to do the unboxing first, but I thought it, uh, I, I should let you guys in on what had happened. I bought this last night and charged the battery up fully. I ran the quad. The quad ran great. But I had one problem. It wouldn't take video or pictures. It would not engage. The light is supposed to flash underneath. When it's videoing, it did not happen. We tried it like three or four times. Put in the computer. Uh, no video or photo footage. So, I've talked many times on the channel about sticking with reputable companies, uh, local hobby shops, uh, tower hobbies, you know, big name places, Horizon Hobbies, sticking with them and not buying Red Cat Racing and Exceed and a lot of these companies where you order stuff. You know, there's a, there's a handful of other ones where you order online like Banggood or whatever and then you wait for it to come for six months from China. If you're lucky, you get it. And then if there's a problem, you're on your own. And you pay a little bit more in a local hobby shop because the guys, they, they may have to make their profit and stuff like that. We've talked about this before. Or if you order from Tower, unless you're a member, you got to pay a little shipping. But it's there's peace of mind knowing that you have some backing behind you if you have an issue with RC because it could be very, very frustrating. Now here, I bought this quad. Dramat is a reputable brand. I bring it home. The camera doesn't work. So my first thought is, you know, I bought it from a local hobby shop, and I thought, well, I bought it. It's one day old. I have the receipt. The right thing to do would be to call them up, and if they stand behind, you know, their customers, they would say, okay, no problem, Rich. We'll exchange it. So, but a lot of times you run into problems where they'll be like, oh, you know, hobby shop might tell you, no, you got to ship it back to the to the uh, manufacturer. It's got nothing to do with us. It's a problem. You got to ship it back to the manufacturer. And if you get something from China and you get it shipped and it's a mess up, you're basically on your own. You're not, you're not going to see another one. If you do see another one, maybe it'll show up a year and a half down the line. 
and you know guys that buy RC and we're into this stuff we don't have that we don't want to wait we want to have it now we paid for it we want to enjoy it so I'm a little aggravated because it's a new product and you pull it out of the box and anytime I have an issue with something brand new it's it's a little aggravating but it does happen there is malfunctions things happen so I called today I called the local hobby shop and I talked to the gentleman and I explained to him what happened and he said uh, no problem uh, I have another one here. I'll put it on the side for you. I explained to him real quick. Yeah, no problem, no problem. You got the receipt, no problem. Uh, I said, are you going to be there tonight? He said, no. I said, I'm going to come in tonight. He said, don't worry about it. I'll have it sitting up front for you. Told him my name, no problem. I go in there, come home from work. I go in there with the wife. I talked to another gentleman that wasn't the gentleman. He knew all about it. He had it up on the table. I open it up. I'm explaining to him, you know, what's here. All the stuff is in the box. I only charge it one time. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We're giving you exit. I got one here where, you know, it's all set up. We give you an exact exchange, and he opens the box of this one, and he shows me all the contents to make sure everything is in there. Real polite gentleman. We talk for about 10 minutes, you know, RC in general. And uh, so I wanted to take mention of this hobby shop. This is actually a, one of the other hobby shops that I go to, and uh, the name of the hobby shop is Walt's Hobby Shop, and it's in Crest Hill, Joliet, Illinois. So if you guys ever make it down that way, if you're ever in Illinois and you're in this area, check out this hobby shop. Now, I bought numerous items from this hobby shop. I told you before, there's a few that I frequent. I bought my Nitro Russo there. I bought both, both my Micro Trail Trekkers there. I bought numerous accessories there. I bought my Wheelie King there. I just bought this quad there. So, over the years, actually, my Emacs came from Waltz. A guy that worked at Waltz, I don't know if he was, you know, owner, owner's son. I have no idea, but this was years ago. This was like 2001. I traded my original Wild Willie for an Emacs, and the guy was actually worked at this hobby shop. So this hobby shop has been around for many, many years. And they have a fantastic store. I don't think I've ever seen a hobby shop that's as orderly and clean as this hobby shop. It is not only spotless and immaculate, they have a huge stock of products from trains all scales to model kits to, to planes to boats to RC cars. I mean, they have a whole a whole wall dedicated to RC. They have slot cars, all scales. I mean, there, there's so much stuff. It's just a great store to check out. Uh, it's the old school hobby shop that's still intact. Prices are very competitive. The staff is very helpful. They're educated. They know what they're talking about. So uh, I've been there many years, and this was just a great experience I had that I wanted to share with my YouTubers and let you know that there are hobby shops like this out there. Walt's Hobby Shop is a perfect example of a hobby shop that stands behind their customers. When you have a problem, they'll stand behind you. And that's what that's all about. That's what it's about. Going, seeing the people face-to-face, -face, talking to them, them standing behind their product that they're selling you, getting you going in the right direction. If you have problems, they'll help you out, tell you what you need to do. So I wanted to take a little moment and give them a shout out because a uh, really good experience. Didn't like the fact that the quad was messed up, but the fact that they gave me a new one and then I came home tonight and I charged it and shot video outside and it worked absolutely fantastic. So I'm thrilled now. I like the quad. It flies great. Unlike the uh, some of the quads that I've flown, like the Helimax models that are unpredictable and hard to trim and everything, this thing flies great. It has the angle camera, which, I mean, you get a lot... Uh, more variation when you're filming of the ground and the air and it, it just really worked good and i'm happy and i'm hoping it holds up long term so again let me know if you guys want to see more footage of this if you want to see running footage uh i'm probably going to mix a little bit of camera footage from this in the video i'll put a little splice in there so you can see it the quality is really good i mean for a 60 dollars unit you're not expecting to have quality like a dj dji phantom that cost a thousand bucks or whatever i mean it's just not the case it's it's a $60 quad, and for the money, I'm very impressed. So till next time, Rich from 2RC Productions here. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment in no particular order. And don't forget, if you're in the area, and you're in Illinois, and you're in the Midwest, and you're near Joliet, stop into Walt's Hobby Shop. Check out his store. They got a killer store, man. Real, Really cool store. So, all right. Till next time, Rich signing out. Thanks a lot for watching.